Uh, hello, hi all, good morning, good afternoon. So today in this video we will talk about the staging of components to production line using the Kanban. So Kanban, you know, this is one of the method by which we can stage our raw material to the production supply area. So normally before the release of S4 HANA embedded 1909, once we try to do a replenish with the Kanban, the system was creating an outbound delivery yeah and that outbound delivery distributed to ewm as a posting chain delivery or outbound delivery itself depending upon the uh, store location of the psa but starting from embedded ewm 1909 version now sap has simplified this concept so that we don't have to create any outbound delivery yeah system will automatically create a warehouse task and based on the warehouse task it will be connected to the warehouse order we can confirm the warehouse order and the system will set the status of kanban to green or you can even set the status of kanban to green and system will kanban status to green means you are just uh, making the kanban card full and system will confirm the background uh, warehouse tasks okay so let's go to there's already one uh, blog on the internet so here uh, we can see here we can see how it looks like with the let me zoom it so here how does it look like so kanban container is set to empty it's going to create a warehouse task and th th there could be two options in the first option we can confirm the warehouse task and it's it's going to put the the material movement in sap ecc and same time it will set the kanban status to full or you can create the uh, this option too for example you can set the kanban to empty and after that you can set it full so once you set it full it's going to confirm the warehouse task that was already created the moment you set the kanban empty and system will also post this <coughs> 411 or 311 material document in the background so that there will be a movement from your warehouse store location to PSA store location so this is how it looks like so also for the organizational perspective you can see it yeah covers a lot of I will say the cases here that PSA under the same store location at the available sales our PSA can be managed under a separate store location or it can also be a IM managed store location. The fourth option is the PSA store location can also be connected to a totally separate warehouse order. Yeah, so the totally separate uh, warehouse. Normally this is going to be a very less practical so we will not cover this one in this demo but we will cover the three above scenario. Yeah, so this is how we are going to do I will say so let's see how is the for the demo system how is the org structure yeah we have a storage location where storage location 1010 that is my warehouse store location you can say a supplying store location we have the this is our first case that okay my warehouse store location and PSA store location is going to be same 1010 this will be our first case so here there is a storage type to represent the PSA and availability group is 1010 assigned to storage type and same is assigned to also your store location 1010. We created some bins yeah, so that system can create a warehouse task for us. So how it looks like first we will see how the things look like and then we will also go for the some basic setup that we do in the customizing. So let's see how things look like first. I will go to this display Kanban demand view I will say okay and continue so here you can see now uh, for this Kanban okay so we are going to take the first case where my warehouse store location and PSA store location are going to be same so I will make this I will set it to empty and this Kanban ID 8 should become empty so let me make it empty 
so kanban id 8 is now empty you can see yeah once it is empty system in the background it's going to create a warehouse task and warehouse order for me so you can just double click on the this id number you go to replenishment for example and then we will see there is a task already created here yeah this is my source storage type section and bin from where this picking is done and this is my destination so this destination we maintain in the control cycle we will see it later on yeah so i can confirm it this warehouse task i can also set the uh, kanban status to full first so any sequence i can follow so let me confirm it from here and we will see that once this confirmation is done the uh, kanban will become full automatically in the background so i confirmed it i can refresh this dashboard and you can see this kanban 8 is going to be full now yeah and as this is connected with the same store location there is system is not going to post any 411 material document so at this time this is this case is finished yeah we will also talk about the case number two where my warehouse store location is let's say 1010 psa store location is different it's let's say 1500 but these both 1010 1500 connected to the same warehouse yeah let's say 555 and 5 so here we created a storage type availability group we assigned to level storage type 1500 and same availability group is also assigned to your psa store location yeah there is a psa created and psa storage type created a psa created and there is a bin created in this storage type to represent this one so let's see here i'm expecting one more document like this material document for moving the stock from 1010 to 1500 once i confirm the warehouse task r once i make my kanban cut full it should happen so let's see it now so let's select that i make this uh, kanban id let's say 15 I, i'm going to set it empty yeah i can scroll down and i will see this is empty now you can see system in the background it will create a warehouse task for me i can check here that is a task created so i can confirm this one and system is going to make my card full uh, i can directly uh, i can in the first step i can make my kanban card full and system will confirm this one so both things you can do here you can see now there is one additional line is coming yeah in the first case this line was not coming so warehouse task this is created what is this warehouse task yeah this warehouse task is going to post 411 in uh, erp system yeah, as for hana as for hana core system we will see yeah but yeah same time we can refresh this one and you can see the now it has become full yeah it has become full so let's check the material moment what was posted now give the date today so there will be one material document already posted from 1010 to 1500 that is going to be let's say this 468 in my opinion and here you can see this so this one was the task number the additional task that was showing to you 204 so based on with the reference to that this material document is posted here you can see the the moment is already posted from 1010 to 1500 yeah so this is how it works the the next case the third case is that my psa can be also i am managed yeah because once you make the psa you i am managed this is i will say more easier for the back plusing process because the back plus process from the i am managed store location is yeah more easier than more easier or flexible than it than it could be from your ew manager store location so many warehouse i will say that works with the this kanban replenishment they prefer to have the yeah stage this psa psa store location as 
inventory managed not EWM managed so this organizational model will be also supported by SAP in this embedded EWM 1901 1909 yeah so here also we created one storage type although we are talking about IM managed store location but we created one storage type to represent our PSA and here I'm not going to assign any availability group yeah because you know this the PSA we created the bin so let's have a look how it looks like now so I now go for three I make it empty and then the Kanban ID is 40 so for the 40 system is going to create a warehouse task for me you will see the task is already created yeah so now for this demo I will not confirm this task okay I will just make the Kanban card full I will say and in the background okay so because of some the the time limit set in the on the Kanban state this system will not allow you to change the status from here but okay let's do it from there itself that I confirm this one yeah and let us see so here also you can see system there is another line the third line that warehouse task this one is created so with this task number 206 ending with 206 system will automatically create the 411 posting to move the stock from warehouse to IM manager store location so this also we will see in the material moment we will check it now okay so we can see something this uh, 469 I will open here yeah. and here you can see the 206 is coming here right so with this task number that was created in SAP EWM I will say system will do this transfer posting from EWM manager store location to IM manager store location so this is how it's going to work yeah and we can also check the stock in our warehouse monitor how does the stock looks like okay let me put all this Kanban storage types come on So come on here. Now you can see we have a stock in our first cases. Yeah, this the first uh, organizational model, the second organization, but for the third one, you will not see the stock because here the, for the third one, the setup is that it should go directly to the IM manager store location. So you cannot see any stock in this. I will say this storage bin. You cannot see any stock. Now we will talk about some mm, basic customizing setup. So we saw how it's going to work. Once I make the Kanban card empty, system is going to create a warehouse task for me. I can confirm the warehouse task and it's going to make the Kanban card full. Okay, uh, I can make the Kanban card full. System will confirm the warehouse task in the background, the connected warehouse task in the background. <coughs> now what are the, the the settings or customizing things that i have to do huh? so the store location you know you already have to create few store location to represent to psa yeah you need to set up let's say the the kanban strategy i will go to i will go to the the kanban strategy for example here so by default the SAP standard is this triple O eight given. This triple O eight here you can see the control type that is stock transfer with warehouse task. So this is what we are going to use and it was given by SAP. So rest everything you can put it, you can leave it blank. So yeah, and you also remember we got one error message when we are going to set the Kanban to full because of this signal lock in minutes. So this signal lock specified that okay. 
at least there should be 10 minutes yeah the moment you are going to change kanban status so that's the reason it's it was stopping me to change the status from the kanban board so you can play with this one so this is the strategy that you have to set up you have to create a store location to represent your psa and you have to create a production supply area so for each cases i will say i created a separate production supply area you can see the store location here yeah psa store location or you can see here for the im also we can see there is a im manager store location so you create the psa and based on the combination of material plant plus psa you also going to create your yeah you also going to create your control cycle so i will show just one control cycle for example here you can see the moment i create a control cycle for the kanban i have to give the um, let's say number of containers quantity in the containers yeah in the stock transfer tab we have to give the stock transfer strategy like this triple o eight what is my supplying store location this one zero one zero and what is my destination store location will be the kanban i will say destination store location is the store location under which the supply area is created so this is how the link works we can directly give the wpt here in fact this is a mandatory field so you have to give this wpt here and you can also specify a source bin if you have the let's say the fixed bin kanban cards or fixed kanban where your source and destination is going to be fixed you can directly put it here yeah or based on this wpt then you can set up a removal strategy like i set up that okay based on this wpt you want to take a stock from these storage types yeah so you can set up like that and you have to give the destination bin yeah where you have to put the stock so these are i will say the basic setups that we must have to do like you have your store location you have your psa you have your control cycle control cycle you specify your wpt and based on the wpt you are influencing or storage type search for the stock removal and yeah you have to create the storage types like the normal things that are going to represent your psa and we assign the right i will say availability group to your storage types so these are some basic setups you can do and i don't think there are some special things there are some special setup to do here so i will say thanks for the watching and yeah have a nice day bye bye